Then that's this, not fair. You can compare side to side. When uh, theologians debate the meaning of a text of the Bible, they all get together, they all have an understanding of what the words mean, and they all debate about whether or not this means this, and this means that, and that means that, and they all come to consensus. Scientists do the same thing. Scientists do, do the, the same, same thing. thing. They all co 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 what is that? collaborate their all each other's works. It's peer they, exactly. They, peer they also they also get together and go. You know what? We've noticed some inconsistencies. So maybe if we come to a middle ground about this is what we're going to use until that's, that's until something else comes along. But it's, that could have happened uh, in the Bible too. How do how do we know that it's not that way? Like, how do we know that the the Bible... Like, it's just weird that this is an ancient language. Yep. That is dead. Hebrew isn't dead now. But it did die, right? It did die off. So it was non-existent. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then somebody came back and went, hey, I can read Hebrew now. Not somebody, but yes. Not somebody? No, no. What it was is... Uh, the, the Okay, from my understanding of how things worked is... Um, the Hebrew language died off from existence, but it was still held on by a group of people. So it didn't die off then. But as far as the world was concerned, it had died off. It's so like that's... it's like some of the, the a fish that they thought had gone extinct millions of years ago. Well, they find it. It's alive. And they find more and more of it now that they're actually looking. So didn't he... There was an also another point about the, like the species thing, about finding new species, right? That Bill Nye said that we'd be finding 11 new species a day. Yeah, I never... I to... never follow... When he was talking about that, I kind of went, uh, what? Who? <laughs> he, he lost me somewhere. Yeah. Right? And, and it's just like, well, I, he lost me at A. So when he was talking about WXY... I didn't know because I didn't know where A was. Hmm. So okay, yeah, I I just wrote down eleven new species. Yeah, a day. okay, I, I get it. He was saying it's like, oh, we should be finding eleven new species a day, and it's like, well, isn't that counterpoint to your? Because shouldn't he have argued that there should be less species if there was a beginning? Yeah, I can't remember what. No, no, but you guys can watch the video, make comments below about what you thought about that part, but. My point is this, is if there was only uh, a thousand kinds, there should be less species. And we found most of those species. But Bill Nye was saying, oh, we should be finding more. And it's like, well, doesn't that kind of defeat your point? Because if, if there are a lot more branches to this tree... We should should be finding more, but we're not. So aren't there less branches and kind of fits mm. more into what... I can't remember exactly how he put it, but yeah, when it, he put it, it made sense to me. And I was like, oh, oh that makes sense, but I can't remember. <laughs> so really, it's a moot point. You know, like, to me, it just seems like God's word is like, if you don't follow God's word, you're, you know, worthless. You know, it says there's no morals for evolution in, uh, for people who believe in. When he put that little chart up, remember the... Oh, the ninety percent. No, the uh, the the blue thing and the oh uh, oh, where the marriage was in and abortion and all okay, that. Okay, um, his point I think there was, um, he was trying to say that if you go a certain route, if you think if you go along the science route, and start to think that uh, everything is based off of in. Uh, what you think and observe, well, then we could be like the animal kingdom, not worry about marriage. We can screw whoever we want, whenever we want. Um, uh, we don't... Rape happens in, in nature, right? So it can happen in real life. He was far-reaching, and I didn't agree with... That's what I thought. I thought he was reaching pretty far. He, he was, he like, was far-reaching. uh he, he was basically saying, oh, if you believe in science, you can't be a good person. Well, that's not true. That's how I took it. I was like, okay, that, that's, 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 that's another bone of contention. It's that like, that was a complete and total Bible-thumping moment. Yeah, I was like, I Whoa. thought he, he... But don't forget, Bill and I took a couple shots, too, during the question and answer period. I thought that was 
Yeah, I, I, Bill I Nye was... watched it again, so I can't remember. Um, Bill Nye was actually pretty good throughout the whole thing. Um, he was very um, accepting of what Ken Ham was. Ken Ham... He, I, he wasn't very accepting. I didn't find him very accepting. No. I think he was very just like, this is the way, to, this is what you should believe, this is the right way. Yeah. Bill, Bill Nye's way is the wrong way. Whereas... Bill Nye was saying, well, we have good ways and we have bad ways. Yeah. You know, and, and a few times, like I said before, he Bill Nye even said, and I think a lot of people say, like, the unknown. We still have unknown. Yep. We still have things that are not known. And... To, and People who are Christian Bible people are like the unknown is filled with God. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. That is what. That's what he's saying. It's like, oh, it's easy for Christians to say, okay, you know, everything we don't know, it's God. Well, everything is God for that matter. You if know. you want to look at it in a black and white, everything is God. All the things we know is because of God. All the things we don't know is because of God. Science, all the things we know is because we observed and interpreted and figured things out. And all the things we don't know are things to that observe. To out. Exactly. And honestly, from a Christian perspective, learning things about what God has done in this universe is fun. I, I think that watching the stars and learning about our history and figuring things out is supposed to be something we're supposed to be doing because it's all part of God's grandeur about like you look outside and go do you yes I know what your answer is. I look outside <laughs> <laughs> yes the stars are awesome uh, yes and I go I want to go out there where did they come from who knows really in all... And as Ken Ham in, says, in, there's a book. That's right. <laughs> well, Bill, we do know. No, actually we don't. We do not know, and I don't think we're ever going to know truly what it is and truly how it is. And there's always going to be questions. Questions. It's, I will put it into a black and white statement. It's the Pepsi-Coke debate. Do in you a like sense, Pepsi yeah. or do you like Coke? In a sense, but... I feel that the Coke side, or whatever side you're on, my side. I like Coke, too. But yeah, I, I, I just like pop. Can't you tell? Um, I, I just think that, uh, you know, it, science is open and leaves the unknown. Whereas, if it's an unknown, on the Bible side, it's God. And then, if it's found out, it's, oh, well, God did that. And it's like, okay. Well, God well, that's fine. Okay. start everything. It had okay. to start... Okay, it had to start from somewhere. Started from somewhere. I have chosen that it's God. And I respect that. 100%. I came from where he I, came from. I respect, I respect that too. I, I totally get I everything. Respect, I respect that as long as you don't try and push your beliefs onto me. And about, I don't. I nope. don't buy both of them. I don't. I, nope, not at all. I don't think that... I think everybody should be free. Everybody should be free to do, believe what they want. And... It's good to have open discussions about it and not punch each other in the face. Just like we did now. You know? like So have a conversation about this kind of stuff because it's really good. I've it's watched a lot fun. of... I've had theological discussions with... Really weird, but the people I work with, we've actually had more open debates about things than I've ever had with anybody that I used to work with. So it's kind of nice in that regard. Yeah. Um, but you will always come across, be it... Uh, the extreme side of things. Yeah, you That's, always find those closed mind people, yeah. uh, religion or not religion, you will find them wherever you go. You know what? If you want to debate with them, go ahead, but guess what? You you're can't. probably not going to change gonna their mind. Yeah, you're not gonna. And you're going to get into those head banging moments where it's a, a you know, the argument oh, if there's a God, why doesn't he stop bad things from happening? type thing and you go from there well you saw that here because it is a question that comes up though it is it is a it question is. that comes up yeah and it unfor it is it's always going to be a question if you want to know answers you can always talk to a pastor a priest uh, a rabbi atheist. feel free you know talk to whoever you want to talk to about uh, in, in them you know a like, Buddhist talk to any of them and they'll give you all different answers that's right if Exactly. All different answers. <laughs> there you go. See? 
What? If anything, remember, would chain make you change your mind? That was a question that was asked. And uh, both of them kind of dodged it. They they gave you the typical, I won't dodge it. You know what would make me change my mind? God knocking on my door and saying, hey, I'm God. <laughs> That's what would change my mind. And then guess what? You've been chosen as a prophet, and you're going to so, have to do a whole bunch of things you probably never thought you were going to do. He'd be the new Moses. Okay, then God's going to come and have to knock on my door. That's exactly what's going to have to happen. That's all I have to say about that. That's that's it. Thank you for listening. You can uh, listen to us on iTunes, the full episode. Yes, we will put the full episode on iTunes. Cut on iTunes. So if you want to do the podcast thing, if that's your thing while you're running, on the treadmill at the gym, or whatever. taking the bus, taking the bus, just chilling at home. Don't that's forget to, to do subscribe it. on iTunes because it'll just pop up in your thing. Watch us on iTunes. Yep. Then you can look at us. Uh, you can watch us on YouTube, and we will actually divide this into two we'll or three. Cut it yeah, we're going to put it into a couple parts. A little bit more di- digestible yep. clips. And then you can follow us and like us both on Facebook and YouTube. Subscribe, and thank you for listening, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.